Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2. This is Mac G with Mac G Mania. Hi, how you doing? And welcome. I know it's been a little bit of time since I've done any recordings. Um, about a week. I took a week and, you know, I've been playing here. I've been working. I've been grinding. However, the... the this mod pack is is gonna drive me crazy. Um, <laughs> it is it is gonna drive me crazy because every time I think I figure it out a way to make a progression, something comes up and I don't. So let me show you what I have done. Let's hi Doge. I know Scott, check out see Scott play, has a poll going on to see just what we are going to name the dog. So please, go check that out. So that way we know, so that, so that poor Wolfie here can, can get a name. Check him out. Vote. Please. Thank you. Alright, so before we get that going... Let's take a look over here. One of the big problems I had was mana production. And I think I've solved part of the problem. Well, maybe not solved, but I've at least adapted, improvised, and overcome. So I had one Gormillus flower. And I have a drop, or had had a dropper set to drop stuffed eggplant every 3,000 ticks so that way it would not be full and the next one would drop and we'd get the best mana production out of it and it works it does work it works out pretty well actually um, the downside of it is where are we at that um, it was taken forever so I added three more Gormillus and three more droppers and three more. It's, it's a hot mess right now. I, I wasn't going for aesthetics. I was just going for mana. And it is a hot mess right this moment. So that was working. And then I remembered something and I made this guy, the Rose Arcana. You'll see our experience level is at 49 right now. And just to update the mana pool. Now if we come over by the Rose Arcana, you will see our level, our experience level is going down. And that's just fine. Actually, we kind of want that because with the Rose Arcana working, it is sucking up our experience and running it through the spreader into the mana pool which will actually make the mana pool go up and I've actually watched it. it it goes up pretty quick and experience isn't an issue really um mostly because mobs drop we've got our, our iron spikes in here well we just got more oh our thing must be full um, but right there, un over the sanguary pedestal, we have the um, the the spikes with the needles, so that way we can fill everything up. So let's eat those real quick. What did we get? Protection three, unbreaking three, eh? Depth Strider, eh? Blah. But we keep getting experience, and I think I want to see if I can get an experience. I, I don't remember if in this pack they have one of those experience vacuums or what is it? experience solidifier that could be doable those guys what do we got mana infused ingots uh right no that's that's right out never mind on that one um 
So, yeah. That ain't happening. However, me mobs drop the sol solidified experience. And that solidified experience is a good thing. Let's just pop up here. And it's not like we don't have any solidified experience. I mean, what I get out of that, I cleaned it out. I had six or eight stacks that I've already put into mana. Um, but this thing has a thousand, a thousand in it. Um, this one here has a thousand in it, 1500. So, yeah, it's not like we're really short on experience points. Um, I still don't have enough. Still don't have enough to make mana steel. Or, what do we got? Yeah, we got mana steel. I don't have enough to make terra steel. Which is hopefully going to happen soon. Because that is driving me crazy. Um... Something else I was looking at, um, I was kind of on the quest to try to help Scott get Wither Skulls or, or Nether Stars. So let's look at another star. These guys, yeah. Which you can use Nether Star Shards to make Nether Stars. Well, you can get Nether Star Shards from Nether, Ess Nether Star Essence, which we're a long ways from. We are a long ways from that. Or nether clusters. Nether clusters are made from nether shards. Nether shards. Enriched chaos. Ender essence. This is the one I was looking at. And I've made one. And that was ridiculous. Um, you can get it from... Dirty Ender Essence, which you can get from crushing down compressed endstone. Yeah. So, we're going to need this stuff eventually. You know, there's the Crystallized Chaos, there's Ender Frost, Nether Shards, Teleporters, all kinds of Teleporters, many, many, many colors of Teleporters. Um, dimension Builder. So, we're going to need them eventually. So, I've been racking up. Let's take a nap. Make it daylight. We've been racking up the end stone. And the reason for that was so we could make the Ender Essence. If you look over here, Scott's used some of our end stone. To make a, a farm for Ender Pearls, which has been nice. I've maybe picked a few. Um, but how I have made my end stone is with Astral or er, Astral Sorcery. Yes. This here is the it's not the most efficient, but it looks pretty. And while we're thinking about it, let's pop our magnet ring of magnetization on. This setup, these are just, just for looks. This setup will do 45 blocks of end stone in a harvest. So, boop, boop. And it's just focusing starlight through the collector crystals, through the lenses, and then having that point at sandstone. It's kind of manual. Okay, it's very manual. But it looks nice. And with the ring of magnetization, it's pretty easy to do. You just bloop, bloop, and refill, reload. So that's pretty much what I have been up to. Yep, not as much as, as I would have liked, simply because, as I said, every time, every time I feel like I'm making a little bit of progress, 
I end up walking around in circles because, yeah, I thought, oh, hey, maybe I could help with power. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Let's just finish parkouring and cleaning up in stone and starting a next batch. There we go. So those are all making in stone now. Um, let's put the in stone away. This is what I've gathered so far. I know. It, there's actually quite a bit there. Not as much as I would have liked, but there's quite a bit. Let's... I moved all of our animals into a couple of smaller pens because I thought, well, hey, Beef Wellington! Yeah, that needs to be an automated farm. I did start looking at another mod because um, I was following the book. I was following the book. And it talked about doing industrial foregoing and extra utilities so I made it at first I made a magmatic dynamo yeah I made a magmatic dynamo to start with this thing no this thing is is worthless that magmatic dynamo it I made the lava fabricator so I could feed into the magmatic dynamo. Um, but I found out it doesn't keep the magmatic dynamo does not make as much power as is needed to fill up the magma the lava fabricator. So it you don't get enough energy out of it. So I upgraded. I, I made a magmatic generator, didn't do it. So we stepped up to the heated redstone, which is good and it keeps up, but you got to fill it with, you got to fill it with redstone. So this is just kind of sitting over here, just kind of twiddling its thumbs, not doing anything. Just kind of like how I've been feeling lately, sitting around twiddling my thumbs, not really doing anything. Oh, at least now when I sit here, I can at least, you know, empty levels into our mana pool. Um, so, yeah. There's that. I have been working on food a little. Um, we've got some spice leaves. We've got some eggplant and garlic. That's what I've been using to make the... Um, stuffed eggplants that I've been eating. Uh, we've got some tomatoes and lettuce. Peanuts were for Scott. Melons were for other things. Soybeans and sesame seeds. Because I thought sesame seeds were going to be good for oil. Actually, cooking oil. That's what I was going to use sesame seeds for. Making cooking oil. And then soybeans. I was looking at trying to get tofu. Um, back in, in Agrarian Skies 2, well, even, in, yeah, when Pam's Harvest Craft was in Agrarian Skies 2 and stuff, um, tofu was super, super easy to make, and it was really, really good. It was actually overpowered because you could use your tofu to make your beef wellington, and your beef wellington was huge. It was amazing. Or you could use tofu to make um, the rainbow bacon. Oh, that stuff. Rainbow. Is that right? Rainbow bacon? Nope. This stuff. Epic bacon. I call it rainbow because, well, you know. But the to make the cooked tofu, or yeah. Look at that. You have to have sugar. You have to have flour. You have to have salt. You have to have cooking oil. You have to have firm tofu makes five tofakens so that's we might still look at that but this stuff with just a little bit of dye and some tofakin um, we can make a huge amount we can make huge food 
So maybe that's something we'll look at down the road. Chocolate bacon, maple candied bacon, bacon mushroom burgers. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that we should look at more vegetarian things because they're easier to produce. Um, because tofu has been seriously nerfed. I did do some work over here. Do 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 do. Yep, rack up that experience for me. Boing. I cleaned this up a little bit. I took out all the lenses that I was using to make in stone. Why is there a block of dirt? Why is there a block of dirt in my... Is that going to do anything? It will. What is it going to do? It's because I had the wand. We are messing the resonating... Oh, it makes... <gasps> it makes grass blocks. Lovely. Good to know. I did make the telescope. And I have used... And when it gets to be nighttime, which is pretty soon, I'll show you a little something. Um, this is the attunement altar, right? We could actually run. I don't have my astral sorcery book with me. Let's grab that real quick. It's easier to throw this guy down here. And Astral Sorcery is that one. The journal. Um, is it in Discovery that we need? No, it is not in Discovery. Whoop. Ah, attunement. There we go. In attunement, we need to make some more of these alignment perks. No. We actually need to make... What is this? Ritual pedestal. Ooh. Ooh. Attunement. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you going to tell us about those things? Where are those things? Nope. It's not going to tell us about those things. That's okay. Because... I can do some attunement um, bits, and they actually kind of work like these are the constellations I've learned. I've actually learned constellations, and that's been pretty cool. Does it tell me about them? It does. Makes you, seems to, well, seeming to make you whatever you want to do. Ew. Very nice. Ah, protective barrier, okay. And this will make things flourishing grow faster. So that's good. That's actually not bad at all. So there's those. Oh, the sun's going down. Let's quick run back. Do, 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 Run back. Run, 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 run. Jump. Run, jump, run, jump, run, jump. Just because I like to be up here. Let's see. Do we have any yet? What moon phase? Okay. And because of our magma torch, or magnum torch up here, mega torch, they're... Even though it's spawnable space, there's not anything spawning up here, which is nice. So let's take a quick look around. No, there aren't any visible constellations yet. There's one. So now that we've discovered these, and we discovered them through the telescope, which is kind of cool, and we'll just do 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 do. See, there's one. Do 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 do. Here's another one that we just haven't discovered yet. We haven't mapped it out. But because we've discovered those constellations, 
Um, now they show up in the sky, and it's really kind of cool. You can see the constellations like that. At least we can. I don't know if Scott can see them or not. But we can see them, and it looks kind of cool. So, that's... That's pretty much what I've been doing. I am proving that I am not the master of Batania that Scott may have built me up to be. Because this stuff is a big pain in the... Yeah. Um, I made some flowers for Scott because he's doing bees, right? Right? You'd think, hey, there's mana generating flower of the begonia. I made it. It's broken. Okay. All right. Well, you know, functioning flora. I thought, you know, a hibiscus can can help make ignobles into pristines. So I made it. Or no, I haven't made this one. But seeing as there's this poppy looking thing, I'm betting it's broken. Um, there's the Hibisynth. This is the other one that I made. Uh, helps make new bees. Absorbs mana from the nearby pool and makes new bees. Mundane bees, but makes bees. And I made this one. And it's broken. So I think Dev Dude, the developer, broke the bees. Or at least broke the Batania flowers that could help the bees. Oh, frustrating. Let's see, how much mana do we have now? Oh, look at that, see? It's it's making us gain mana much, much faster. But to make mana steel is a ridiculous amount of mana. Um, I've tried one quarter of a mana pool. Was not enough. So, yeah... Um, next is to try half of a mana pool. And if you happen to know exactly how much mana it takes to make a Terra Steel, or, yeah, Terra Steel, I'd be, I'd be really excited to know that information. Let's see, let's clean up, multi-shot, unbreaking, blah, 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 blah. Arrows we don't need. Armor we don't need. Right into here I just I've gotten to the point where I just throw things away because it's not like we need them a witch gem huh and these gems they don't do anything as far as I can find there's no recipes for them there's no recipes to use them they don't do anything so I don't know unless we use them for the mob grinders for the mob um, it was in not applied logistics, not actually additions. It was in one of the mod packs that actually the developer tells you to to use. We'll just bounce our way across, run up. Uh, we'll put that one back. I'm kind of done with this journal for a while, but in this one, looking here, you know, it tells you to get into industrial foregoing, which I did, like I said, and it'll actually tell you, you can make the mob duplicator. Um, I was excited about that, so I made... Well, not about that, but I was excited to get into something new. So I made a tree fluid extractor. You put a block of... You put a log in front of it, and it turns it into latex. And then you take that latex out, add it to water. Nope, not the fluid transposer. It's actually over here. Down here. This. Latex processing unit. Water and latex. It's got a lot of latex in it still. Um, makes... Let's see, do I have... No, I don't have it. Okay. But anyway, makes the dry rubber balls, which you add together to... And then cook them and make the plastic that you use 
for industrial foregoing. I was really excited when I found out about industrial foregoing because industrial foregoing was not actually additions. Um, applied energy? No. Uh, it, it goes by a different name. This is like the updated version of it. And it has all of these awesome, awesome tools. It has incredibly cool tools. Block placers and tree fluid extractors, latex processing, sewage compost solidifier. <gasps> oh, that would be a sludge boiler. You know, animal byproduct recollector, um, sludge refiner. Actually, there's your sludge boiler. Uh, mob detectors, petrified fuel generator, enchantment refiner. You know, it's got, uh, what is it, IE? Anyway, it, it's a mod that I've actually had a lot of experience with in the, see, there's the tiny dry rubber ball, the dry rubber which makes your plastic, you know, it had, has stuff that I've actually worked with in the past. A safari net. Oh yeah. Mob imprisonment tool, a safari net. Come on, just renamed. Um, so, you know, I got into this a little bit, got some of the tools made up for it, made the fluid transposer, Magma crucible, so I could um, do the blip, 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 destabilized redstone. So I, I did all that, and it's it's not really helped. It's advanced us, but it hasn't really helped advance us. Um, I thought, oh hey, a laser drill. This thing would be awesome to help us gather resources. I made the laser drill, which was actually pretty easy. I made the lens. I got it set up and hooked to power, and it said I needed a base. I'm like, okay, well let's let's just take a look real quick at, at this guy. Laser drill, right? This is you know, glass, some gold gears, the machine case, which was a pain in the It's not hard to make, it's just a pain because there's a lot to it. Made that. Made the lens. Got everything going. It was great. It was fantastic. Need the base. Um, where's the laser base? This guy. Plastic, no problem. Emerald gears? Hey, we can do that. Easy. Enderium gears? Hey, we can do that. Not a problem. Machine casing? It's, it's a grind, but they're easy. Block of evil. Oh look, nether stars, iron, to make, you need nine nether stars to make one block of evil. Or, to, you need nine nether stars, that's, that's insane, to make eight blocks of evil. Fluid evil material. There's no smelting recipe for it. Even the... There's no recipe for this. You have to do it that way. You have to make the block of evil. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts. And... It is so frustrating to be pigeonholed into this you know it's it's most players are very imaginative creative and we've come up with things to do things in a certain way and this is a little bit of my soapbox here guys I'm sorry but you know we're creative individuals that problem solve and troubleshoot and we do darn good jobs of that and then to have a developer say oh no no that's not what you're supposed to do you have to do it my way and I don't care if you're a round peg you're gonna go through this square hole 
That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Just because people find ways to do the things that we need to do that aren't the ways you... Oh, I made that jump. That you may have not thought were supposed to be done just because we figured it out. You should celebrate that. You shouldn't make it harder. So that's that's my that's my soapbox for this. Thank you. Sorry, my bad. I've just literally been <laughs> running around in circles with this, trying to figure out how. I mean, Scott's doing bees. Scott's doing bees. Bees are awesome. Bees are gonna take us places. I mean, his thing over there with the bees, that's that's incredible. And, you know, I thought, hey, let's make something for him to help him out. I was thinking, hey, let's help Scott out. Let's make an apiarist's outfit for him because of those darned aggressive bees. Oh, okay. Woven, woven silk, right? Woven silk. Well, silk wisps. Okay. And a carpenter block. Okay. Not a problem. Oh, silky, yeah, silky comb. Are you flipping kidding me? Yeah. So, I can't even help Scott with bees, because Batania's got my hands tied. Um, I can't even make him an apiary suit, because other things have my hands tied. Ooh, diamond compartment. Oh, that's cool. Um... So I can't even help him with his bees because my hands are tied and I'm, I'm just going in circles. I just have been literally running in circles trying to figure out what I should be doing next. I've taken evil craft at least to this point where we can go with it. I'm waiting. I, I need a, a nether star because I have to make a... Uh, 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 so if we want to do withers, wither skull, we can make them in the blood infuser with just regular skeleton skulls. And with the wither skulls, we can make withers, of course, um, in various different ways. That's awesome. But I need this guy, the, the promise of tenacity three. I have the diamond promise acceptor. I have the Bowl of Promises Strength 2. I have not a nether star. And once we get another star, we can make that, which then means we can start making these. Um, we need a mob beheader for our mob farm. This guy. Mob masher upgrade. Beheading. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Manual and cleavers. We might be able to make those. Okay, okay. Fluxed Electrum Nuggets. Yeah, we should be able to make Fluxed Electrum, right? Right? Maybe? Destabilized Redstone. Hey, I can do that. And Electrum. Okay, so we could do that. Yeah, say, say we could do that. Upgrade Base. In a resonator, weighted pressure plate. We can do that. We can actually start making these. Hey, we can start making these. That, that's a thing. That's something we can do. That's actually awesome. Let's grab 10 redstone. Let's toss it into the magma crucible. Uh, yep. That'll make up the destabilized redstone. This way we can actually do something today. We need electrum. Do we have electrum over here? Do we have... That's bronze. Brass. Brass. Electrum grit. 
let's let's turn this electrum grit can we double it if we run it through if we run it through this will it double what's in here um, Ingvar and iron all right so this is what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to make some beheading mods that's that's easy enough for us to do right right we can do that let's no gold no gold seriously do we have gold powder let's start with one we'll make some gold are you full up to the point no nope. okay good um so yeah I'll, I'll try making some of that and see if we can't get some mob heads specifically skeleton heads because I can do that yay I have found something I can do I can do that makes it feel like I'm actually doing something useful right so do 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 I want to thank you for joining me and 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 our friend that whoa 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 there thank you for joining me and our friend Teru Teru Bo Bozu as we continue on modern skyblock 2 electric boogaloo or something thank you for joining me this is Mac G with Mac G mania have a great day and if you can't have a great day try to have a good one so that everything comes up aces bye